My name is Jeff Alvarez. I'm a contractor working with the Mountain View Sanitary District. We're working on a western pond turtle survey and study where we're trying to figure out whether the turtles are moving on and off the site, and if so, what seasons they're doing that. And when females go out to build a nest and lay eggs, where they might be doing that on the site. We're taking advantage of GPS units and we're going to glue those onto the turtles. And then the next segment, we're going to show you how to do that. So it's the 29th of May about noon and we're getting prepared to attach our telemetry unit to the back of the, the western pond turtle that we have. We're doing this study partly to find out where the turtles are nesting, where the females are building their nests, uh, and also to find out how they're using the site. The site's made up of numerous ponds and the turtles appear to be moving back and forth between the ponds. So a little GPS telemetry unit on the back of one of these turtles is really going to benefit us greatly in figuring out how they're moving, when they're moving and in fact even why they're moving. So we have a turtle here. This is a female western pond turtle that originally had a small telemetry unit glued on its back right here, but it's shaken that telemetry unit off. We're taking advantage of uh, the fact that we, we captured her and we're gonna glue on now a GPS telemetry unit. We're gonna put it right here on the front, partly because uh, we wanna be able to see it. We also know that she's gonna be moving through a lot of vegetation and we want it not to catch on things and drag. So if we put it on the front, it's less likely to catch. What we're gonna use is a two-part uh, putty epoxy. So you slice a little bit of this epoxy off. And inside is the second part. So you squish it together a little bit like kids play dough, and you get it really well mixed. And in about five or ten minutes, this will start to harden and it'll cure underwater so we could release her maybe in the next five or ten minutes. So all I'm doing is making little snake shapes, folding it over on itself and making sure this is really well mixed. The better it's mixed, the more likely it is to harden uh, and keep that telemetry unit. So I'll take a little piece of this about the size of a quarter, so about an inch, maybe about an eighth of an inch thick. And I'll push it right onto the carapace, and only in one marginal skew, which is one of these little shapes right here. I'm gonna press it down pretty firmly to make sure there's good contact. And I can see it's peeling up, so I'm gonna pull it off, take my little sanding block, roughen up the, the shell a little bit. Make sure the dust is off of it, and we're going to do it again. So again, I'm making sure that no epoxy gets into that little groove between these little scales. That's where the shell grows, and we don't want to stop the growth. So we take the telemetry unit, kind of look at the way the antennas are going, and try to figure out the best way to get them just to stream behind the turtle. And then we press the unit firmly into that epoxy putty, making sure again that we don't let that putty move over any of these little margins on the skew. Then I'm going to use my finger and I'm going to try to close up the little gaps that might catch on vegetation, on a twig or stick, or some sort of algae on the bottom. And just make sure that it's going to just glide right over the front of that. And then we're going to allow the antennas to trail behind. This will be the most hydrodynamic shape we can create for the turtle based on the shape of the telemetry unit. This will take about five or ten minutes to dry. In the meantime, we're going to put just a little bit more of this putty on the front of the unit, just again to make it um, sort of a smooth shape across the front. sure there's no gaps and there's no little air pockets. That should do it. That'll hold the telemetry unit in place for the life of the unit. We'll try to capture again and take the unit off and maybe put a new battery in it. 
and reuse the unit at some point. But for now, we're just going to let her sit here and uh, wait for about five or ten minutes and let that putty dry. So we have the GPS unit securely attached to the turtle, still in that one skew, no epoxy on the margin. The epoxy is now rock hard, even though it's only been about 15 minutes. It'll cure in about an hour or two, and uh, it can cure underwater. So we're going to be fine releasing this turtle. The safest way is just to let the turtle go into the water on its own. So we're going to set it down here on the mud and move out of the way.